going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, the guy who is rooting for you, the guy who wants you to succeed, not only in this game, but also in life, man. Raise up your spirits, guys, because this is gonna be an amazing year for you, all right? I don't care what's going on, believe that, and you're gonna see results. All right, guys, so we're back again with another video. Today, we have a highly requested video on how to perform in trios. Uh-oh. For the new season, season three, Epic Games have announced that they're going to be cash cup trios. Arena trios were, you know, added towards the back end of last season. However, we didn't want to put out a, a guy straight away. This is because we wanted the meta to adapt to trios first. We have been working out the best strategies for you guys and your team to take away and perform to a high level. These tips are going to help you out from casual to competitive or, you know, if you're an experienced player. So enjoy this video. All right, guys, about that time. Bunch your crunch army it's time to scream this out together it's time to sit back come on relax and grab some of my favorite candy what is that y'all it's that bunch of crunch let's get this going first things first you cannot be a good trio if you don't have one so how do you find a good trio good question there are many different ways that you can find yourself teammates and we're gonna list off some for you guys you guys ready for this pretty excited about this discord servers discord servers are a good way to find trios you know as almost all of them have a looking for group channel which is specifically there for players to connect with each other and team up if you put a message in there with you know what you're looking for players can see your message and reply to you to pick you up our community discord has this text channel available for all members so check the link out in the description and start looking today all right so another way to find a good team could be using social media like twitter instagram and youtube up right a lot of players would upload their gameplay so you get a first hand look and just see how good they are all right, so before we move on to our next point, I feel I really need to say this. Your friends are not going to be the best choice for you sometimes. Now, I get it. Fortnite is a video game that you play with your friends for fun. But if you're serious, I'm talking about like the competitive Fortnite players out there. You need to consider finding new teammates if you feel like you're the best in your group. I'm not trying to hate on your friends. I love your friends. I know you love your friends, but you know, you got to do what's best, you know, for your future with the game. Once you find your trio, then you need to figure the most efficient practice based on your new team. First, you need to establish everyone's schedules, what days you can get on and practice, you know, for how long. Once you figure this out, you should do a lot of different practices to improve as a trio, right? The first thing is communication is so important, but we wanted to cover that in its own point. So we're going to leave that one until later. Let's say you and your team can practice five hours a day. You need to figure out what your team needs to work on for the playtime to be its most efficient. Doing things like box fighting against other trios, public trio zone wars and scrims are generally the best ways to improve. OK, so if you need help figuring out the strengths and weaknesses of your team, then check out play with pro on proguides.com you can have a pro player in your game figuring out what the best ways for you to improve is and a training schedule for you to stick to all right guys communication is going to make or break trio guys like for real for real you need to work this into your training schedule because you need to treat it you know the same as you would treat aim training if a team has poor communication and chemistry whoo then the team is not gonna make it so how do you improve communication firstly don't clog up the comms talk about what you did over the weekend another time you know ensuring that there's no small talk in a game that's gonna allow for more room for effective communication even if you guys are not fighting, you know, calling out available loot, ammo checks, and making a plan is all effective communication. Secondly, when fighting, ensure the communication is specific to the fight. A good trio will be able to fight together, team up on one enemy, take shots to help a teammate out, and if someone hits someone white, everyone needs to focus on that guy. As a trio, you need to be able to pick apart a team and take them out one by one. Trust us, my friends, your chances of winning a fight is a lot better if there are three shotguns pointing at one opponent, not just the one. Working together is especially important this season because of the meta changes. Now, the meta changes in season three are massive. With the removal of the pump shotgun and a bunch of other weapons and items, the new meta is definitely underway. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the charge shotgun, which has taken the game by storm. <laughs> 
a lot of mixed reactions in the community on the gun but let's be real guys the gun is here and it's probably going to stay and we should probably just get used to it now how do you use the charge shotgun in the most efficient way in trios good question well communication as mentioned is going to be extremely important here and i mean like right here this is also going to make the adjustment period to the new meta a lot easier so the charge shotgun will do more damage the longer it has been charged right the reason why I'm making this crystal clear is because you can use this within your team. Okay, so let's say you guys are in a box. If the communication is there within the team, then someone can charge a shotgun up, all while another teammate is holding in an edit. The teammate opens up the wall or cone, and you can just take the shot if it connects. It's go time, man. So choosing roles based on game sense, ability, and experience, that's really important. This is something that needs to be discussed within the group, right? The general roles within a trio would be the IGL, fragger, and the support. Okay, an IGL usually is the most experienced player. They have high IQ and plans the best rotations and has the final decision on what the best decision going forward will be. A fragger is usually the player with the best aim. They can just hang back while the others rotate with the aim of getting kills. A good fragger would be able to get kills, grab the loot, and then split mats with the remaining players. And finally, the support player is usually the one who prioritizes heals and collecting materials. They actively look for spirit healing to carry and win in fights, not taking too much risk as they need to be there for their teammates. Okay guys, so take these explanations of each role away and just discuss with your team to see who suits what role. Consistency is so important. Once you've figured out who's who, stick at it and constantly look for ways to improve how you can perform in your role. All right, let's talk about consistency and ways that you can improve your consistency. Who's ready for that? Here we go. Consistency goals, man, you should set for yourself in trios is placement, communication, and road discipline. Trio lobbies are going to be stacked due to one extra player in the team. That means more materials used and a lot of players in game. Placement is going to be harder, so if you can just see you're placing well, continue what you're doing. If you aren't doing so well, then VOD review. You know, that really helps you tweak what's needed to improve and really become consistent, right? VOD reviews are the best ways to figure out what improvements need to be made. We say this all the time, but you know what? This needs to be said all the time because a lot of us are still not doing this enough, really. You know, if you struggle with completing VOD reviewing and you just don't really know where to start, you should definitely check out Play With Pro Service provided by Pro Guys, and a pro player will show you how to effectively VOD review and really look what to look out for. Okay, so the video is coming to an end, but we need to go over a recap to ensure you're getting the most from this video, all right? We believe in you and we want you to be the best. And I want you to succeed not only in this game, but also in life, man. So let's start with succeeding in the game first, right? <laughs> you can start improving at Trio without a Trio. Looking in places like Discord servers is the best way as there are just dedicated channels for looking for a group. It may be hard to get your team on all at once, so take advantage when you can just ensure that you're practicing trio drills like box fighting, arena, scrims, constantly looking to improve one another, right? Communication, my friends, is going to help you win your game. Without effective communication, you're going to fail. That's really the bottom line. So when you do VOD reviews, listen out for the comms just to make sure that they are where they need to be. New season, new meta, charged shotgun is a hard gun to get used to, but with some good chemistry, you could do certain edit plays to ensure max damage charges are hit. In trios, you need an IGL, a support player, and a fragger. We gave you the definitions and what is expected of each player in the role, so decide between yourself and your teams who suits what and start getting to practice. Being consistent with things like training, placement, and improvement is so important. There's no point doing a training schedule for a week and stopping. Consistency is going to improve your trio. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, who loves my bunch of crunch. Man, so excited for you guys. Man, keep continue to grind. Never stop, never surrender. Connect with me on my Insta, your motivation guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. So leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for, man? Come on, subscribe so you can get all the notifications and you can be updated when all the new videos come out. All right, looking forward to seeing your comments on what you guys thought about the vid and, you know, some other ideas and cool stuff. All right, we'll see you soon. Peace.